What's going on everybody, Respawn Gentleman here. So today I'm going to show you how to get all of the overworld shrines so you can get a crazy amount of buffs on a whole bunch of different stuff. Get right to it. Now the first shrine we're going to go over is the Shrine of Mul'a. Now this one gives you a plus 10% to your gold gain and you'll basically see this one right away. There'll be an NPC standing right here where I am and um, you'll see it basically as soon as you leave the very beginning of the game. So you'll accept this quest and you want to make your way over here. Um, you actually will go through this little dungeon area um, I've already done it, obviously, so I don't have to do that. But you'll go through that little dungeon up there, come out down here, and you can grab the piece right over here. So the second and final piece you need to get is uh, just this direction from the shrine itself. Kind of follow the, the uh, stone path, then come up this hill. You're going to go all the way up to the top and into this dungeon right here. And once you complete the dungeon, you'll have both pieces and just return them both to the shrine and you will get that bonus. So the next shrine is going to be the Shrine of Grindana. Now this one's going to give you plus 10% to your experience gain. So it's absolutely must have, especially if you want to level up faster. So this one's actually going to be um, kind of right here on the map. You won't get to this one until you've completed the mission Emotion of the Ocean. And while you're on your way to the Warp Tooth Shallows for the next mission, um, you'll kind of run into this. So the locations for all of the little uh, shrine pieces are right over here. So you have this first one, which is going to be right inside this dungeon. Right next to it from there the second one is actually going to be right over here through this little tall grass patch and into this dungeon over here where you, when you complete that you'll get the second shrine piece so for the third shrine piece you can get here from the shrine just kind of head back towards bright hoof until you get to this sign here then just go straight past the sign and it's a dungeon that's directly in front of me when you complete that you'll have the third shrine piece so for the final shrine piece you'll need to progress the story a little bit further to where you need to head towards the drowned abyss be an NPC right here where I'm standing that will give you the ability to cross invisible bridges. So once you have that ability, just make your way back to where you got the third shrine piece, and then now you can cross over this little invisible bridge. Now just follow the path that I'm taking, and it'll lead you to the final shrine piece for Grindana. Right here, this is the dungeon. Just complete it, and you'll get the final piece. And just make your way back, and you'll have it completed and get that experience gain. So the next shrine is going to be the Shrine of Zumios. Now this one gives you a plus 15% to your overworld movement speed. So on the overworld map, you'll move much faster. So this one is located right here on the map. It's actually right next to the Weep Wild Dankness. Um, so the very first shrine piece you'll get is actually going to be in this dungeon right next to it. Just hop on the dungeon, you'll get the shrine piece. So for the next two pieces, you'll need to go to the Mount Craw area. If you haven't been there yet, you'll need to cross this rainbow bridge, which is near um, the shrine itself, which is right over there. So if you haven't got this, there's an NPC, which you can see him here. He'll have a quest, and um, when you complete that quest, you'll get this bridge. All you need to do at that point is just follow the path that I'm taking, and the first shrine piece will actually be inside of this dungeon over here, and the second one you'll actually see up on that hill on the top. And then once you complete this dungeon and get to the top of there, you can just collect both shrine pieces. So for the final shrine piece, right outside of Queen's Gate, you're going to be at these double doors. You'll see it behind them. Um, they're normally closed. And the way to open them is once you complete the Emotions of the Ocean quest, Paladin Mike will have a side quest for you. Go talk to him, complete that side quest, and you'll get the final piece. Just return to the shrine and you will get that plus 15% overworld movement speed. So the next shrine we're going to talk about is the Shrine of Throtus Punches. Now this one will give you a plus 10% to your critical hit damage, so this is a really good one to have as well. The shrine itself is located right outside of Warp Tooth Shallows, so as soon as you complete that mission, you'll be able to see this one here. So the first shrine piece is really easy to get to. Once you get to the Drowned Abyss, which is the next main mission you need to go to anyway, you just want to head over here to the right, go inside this dungeon right here, and this will give you the first shrine piece. So for the second shrine piece, you can leave from the Drowned Abyss entrance area like we did for the first one, except head over here to the left, and then you just want to follow the path that I'm taking right over here past this tall grass, and then you'll go inside this dungeon here, which will give you the second shrine piece. So for the third shrine piece, after you've completed the drill boss fight, you want to head over here to the right and just go all the way around this little grassy area. And then it'll be in this dungeon right over here. Go inside and you can collect the third shrine piece. So for the final shrine piece, also where you got out of the drill boss fight, you want to head over here to the left past this NPC. And it'll be a dungeon right here. Once you go inside and complete it, you'll get the final piece. Take it back to the shrine, you'll get your 10% critical hit damage. So the next shrine is called the Shrine of Aaron G. Now, this is one of the most important ones to get because it gives you plus 25% to your loot luck, which is absolutely amazing. The location of the shrine itself is actually right in front of where you exit Karnok's Wall. So as soon as you complete that area, you'll see this right here. 
Now the very first one you will get for the shrine piece is actually in this dungeon right next to it. The second and third shrine pieces are actually going to be right over here from the shrine itself. You just want to go inside of this dungeon, complete it for the second shrine piece, and the third one will be on top of that hill, and then you'll have both of those. So for the final shrine piece, you just want to follow this little rock road from the shrine itself and follow the left path. So right over here, there's actually going to be an NPC um, in this corner. You want to complete his quest, and when it's complete, it will actually let you get up this little hill, and you'll be able to complete this dungeon here. And that will give you the final shrine piece, so just take that back, and you will get your 25% loot luck. So the final shrine is the Shrine of the Crazed Earl. Now this one will give you a plus 10% to your Moon Orb gain. So the, where this one is on the map is actually right next to Sunfang Oasis. Um, and the only way to get up here is actually to go through this dungeon first, which will actually give you your very first shrine piece and let you gain access to this area. So for the second shrine piece, you want to head over to this area right here, um, kind of through this tall grass and go through this dungeon. When you complete that, you'll get the second shrine piece. However, once you complete that, you want to go across the invisible bridge and launch on this little air thing that you can see above me because it'll take you to this dungeon right over here. And that will actually also give you your third shrine piece. So the final shrine piece is going to be right over here in this little area. Now, there will be some uh, stuff blocking it and a NPC that needs a side quest completed. So complete that side quest and then you'll be able to gain access to this. Take it back to the shrine and you'll get your 10% moon orb gain. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Wonderlands content, make sure to like and subscribe. You can also check out my community discord where you can talk to me and other people as well as find other people to play with online and I'll have that linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.